What is up everybody, Chana D, your techno dad here. Got a quick unboxing for you, a new microphone I got. If you've noticed, I've been doing a lot of gameplay stuff. Doing the audio is kind of weird. With the microphone on, it's just not, it just doesn't come out as good. I've always had to go in and post and raise the volume levels and all that. So I decided to get a microphone uh, for any kind of screencasting or gameplay that I do. And this is a USB microphone. It's made by Rode and it's the NT USB. This retails for around like 169. 99 but I did get it from zounds.com so I got it on an easy pay system I think it's about 34 a month very reasonable I'll put a link in the description for you guys for sure we're gonna unbox this and then I'm gonna run a little test that's gonna be the second part of the video and I'll just give my first impressions all right so we'll see you after the jump <music> all right here we go with the unboxing Oh, looky here. Check this out. Great packaging. Great packaging. Rode, if you didn't know, is an Australian microphone company. I have plenty of their studio microphones. All right. Let's see what we got here. Wow. That's one long USB cable. You've got your mounting right here. You want to unscrew, take that off. You've got that right there. You want to move the pop shield around. You just kind of do that and then tighten it. All right, we got your volume knob and I don't know what this is, headphone knob? We'll find out. There's a headphone jack right there. Here we have the stand and the longest USB cable known to man. Look at that thing. I think it's huge. And of course, the road bag microphone case. Ah, here's all the instructions. I was wondering where they went. So this is what you get in the package, the microphone, the stand, the cable, instructions, and the bag in the back there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the unboxing part of this video. And now I'm going to switch into some gameplay and actually use the Rode NT-USB so you guys can get kind of a feeling on what it's like. Great, so we'll get into the next part of this video right now. All right, everybody, here I am, Chanda D, your techno dad. I'm talking to you via the Rode nt USB, I've got that hooked up pretty much just through USB. There's a USB port on the bottom of the microphone, which I did not show you, so I'll show you at the end of this video. That's plugged into my laptop, USB port. Now what you have to do is you have to go into System Preferences, okay? Then you need to go to Sound, okay? And then on the right of the top, you get Sound Effects, Output, and Input. Go to that, click on that Input. Then you'll see the Rode NT-USB um, microphone. It's actually an audio interface, is actually what it is. Now what I'm talking to you through is you have to set that input volume here. Uh, the, the knobs on the microphone actually don't change the input volume. That's just for monitoring. I, I'm actually listening to myself talk. I have the headphone jack. I put in my DJ headphones and I'm listening to it through that. That's how I know the vocal is coming through and everything's kosher. Now, this is at 75%. I'm about six, um, I'm probably about eight inches away from the microphone. They recommend six. Here is, now this is the full volume. My voice stayed the same and this is the full volume. This is in the sound. Um, preferences. Okay, now I'm back to 75% volume, which is what I was talking on before. Here's 50% volume, okay? And then here's 25% volume, which I don't even think you can hear. Okay, let's go back up to 50. So we're now back up to 50% volume. And now we're back at 75% volume, which is where I which is where I like it. I think this is a good volume. So you need to change that here in the sound settings of the system preferences. And once you select input and select the Rode NT-USB, you can change the volume slider to whichever one you prefer. I like 75% and I think that's probably where I'm gonna keep it. All right, 
So, there it is. Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, this is the gameplay I was talking about from earlier. Uh, I'll have a video of this up. Like a separate video. This is Forza Horizons 3. And this is just the replay of how crappy I did. So, I just want to show you how this microphone works. Um, I just went through all the instructions on getting it to work properly um, in your system. And now I am using it. I'm recording it in Logic Pro because that's my preferred audio program. You can just use the voiceover recording in iMovie or to use any other digital audio recorder that's in the Mac. Ugh. Man, I suck at this game. That first race must have just been way too easy because I've been last place in almost everything. Well, no, not that bad, but it's kind of bad. Anyway, I think this is more than enough and you should be getting the idea of how this Rode NT-USB works. I'm not even talking directly into it. It's about at my, I'm looking straight at the at the monitor here and it's like at my 10 o'clock about six to eight inches away I'm talking at a normal volume and like I showed you before I have the volume set at 75 percent all right well that's it for this test now see you on the other side of this video hey everybody what's up all right we are back so the one thing i did not show you about this microphone is right here i should have known there's something holding on there's there's a tag attached to something here and if you pull that tag boom that exposes the usb port i can't put into words exactly how awesome this rode nt usb is okay so if you're someone that does podcast, screencast, gameplay with your voiceover commentary, you should definitely look into this. It sits on the desk. It connects up through USB. The best part is you can go in, since you have that audio file, you can go in and add reverb or you can add effects or add whatever you want to. The knobs on the side are for monitoring and they did a really, really great job of that. You just stick in your headphone and you're good to go. You can use it for a bunch of different things. If you wanted to mount this on to a mic stand, you can, okay, any conventional mic stand. So this thing is super versatile. Being USB, you don't need a separate audio interface. This takes care of it. I will put a link in the description for this. And if you like this content, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out some of my other videos. I'll put it in one of these corners here. Not sure which one yet. Um, and if you have already subscribed, I wanna thank you so much. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. I started this channel just about three months ago, already broken 20,000 views and getting on my 100 subscriber mark. So that's pretty cool. All right. That's my time for today. Once again, this is Chana D, your techno dad, and I'll see you next time.